Hello, welcome to Papa Paulie's Doughnut recipe, garlic doughnuts we're going to be making today. So light dough balls, but in the shape of a knot. Okay, so really basic, simple, straightforward recipe again. No complicated things to do, no complicated ingredients at all. And these are fantastic. You can serve them with the pizza, so you can double up on your dough, double up on your carbs. But feel fantastic. All right, so we've got the strong white bread flour, sea salt, or table salt, excuse me, extra virgin olive oil, um, garlic puree, bowl of garlic, butter, yeast, water and oil mixed together. Okay, so what ingredient-wise um, you need to measure out, basically. So for the water element, we've got 240 mils of warm water. So warm to the touch, not too hot, not too cold. Too hot, you'll kill the yeast. And too cold, it will, well, it'll work, but just take a very, very long time to activate. So we've got 240 milliliters of um, warm water mixed with 5 milliliters of the extra virgin olive oil and also mix with the seven gram um, pack of dry, fast active, fast active yeast, easy for me to say, um, mix together in the jug, um, put it all in, stir it up, gonna leave that to sit for around about 10 minutes, okay? So then what we're gonna do in the bowl, we're gonna mix everything together for the dough part. So what you'll need for the flour is exactly 355 grams of strong white bread flour then you'll have um, five ish grams you can put a little bit less in if you don't want it too salty of the salt so five grams of salt uh, in the bowl and then we're going to mix in the um, water oil and the yeast mixture which is um, coming up nicely as you can see it's just coming together Probably doesn't foam as much as the um, the pizza dough one, uh, basically because we put the oil in there. It will foam, but not as much as the one without the oil in. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh everything out for the dough. Um, to make the butter and garlic, um, what do you call it, spread or cover that you want to go on the doughnuts, um, it's literally butter and garlic. <laughs> um, you can put parsley with it as well like we do on the garlic cheese pizza or the pizza bianca um, at the end I might do that actually on this one and at the end of it as well you can probably finish it with really loads and loads of parmesan if you wanted the garlic donuts with the parmesan on top there as well but this is just the basic recipe on how to make the donuts and then I'll show you at the end of the video how it comes together to make them. Um, with the butter, it's 50 grams of butter, um, 20 milliliters of olive oil, and you can put like six to 10 garlic cloves, depending on how much you like it. I also use this stuff as well, which is um, garlic puree. It comes in a tube. Um, tastes great, it's just literally garlic and uh, vegetable oil mixed together. Um, yeah. So use around about two teaspoons, uh, two, sorry, two tablespoons of that mixed in with the oil. Got a real garlic kick to it. Um, yeah, salt and pepper in there as well. But I'll show you how we make that in a moment. We'll weigh everything out and then I'll um, knead the dough for a while, let it rise and show you exactly how we form the doughnuts. Okay, so we've weighed out the flour and salt in the mixing bowl. So just creating a well in there. The yeast and oil mixture has completely, the yeast is completely dissolved in there. As you can see, there's no pieces of the yeast, so that's all dissolved in there. I'm going to pour that into the center of the well in the flour. Make sure you get everything in there. And then bring it together with a spoon, same as we do for the pizza dough, same as you do with any bread recipe, really. Bring it all together. A good mix. So mix that for around about three to four minutes, and then we're going to take it out and we're going to knead it for about ten minutes, same as the pizza dough. Give it a good knead, activate the gluten, and I'll show you how we let this one rest, and then show you exactly how we form it into the knots. I just thought I'd show you a quick little trick on how to clean um, 
your mixing bowl as well if you're finding it hard to struggle or struggling with it basically just take a piece of the dough small piece that's still wet once you've just tipped it out onto the surface just take it and just work it around scraping everything out of the bowl and that'll all stick onto hopefully <laughs> i'll stick onto the piece that you took out pretty much clean the bowl with it so yeah another top little tip so we put it out onto the surface and we're just going to bring it all together and knead it for like say a good um 10 minutes again if you want to clean your hands a little bit of flour on them you get clean hands there you go okay so we're just gonna bring it out fold it over bring it out fold it over push i'm gonna do this until we get a smooth dough ball still slightly sticky at the moment if you need to add a little bit more flour into it you can do but if you just keep kneading for a good 10 minutes and bring it together and show you how we let this one rise okay so we've been kneading the dough for a good 10 minutes as you can see it's come together in a, in a ball it's not sticky at all to the finger you can poke it doesn't stick to your fingers and if we can form it into a ball push in and it bounces back There we go. Okay. So now what we need to do is let this one rise. Okay. So put it in the bowl. We mix it in, clean bowl, and cover this with a shower cap. You don't really need a shower cap. I was just messing. You can use cling film, <laughs> whatever you want to cover with a damp, wet towel. I'm just using a shower cap because that was what was in the cupboard there. And it does help actually. And it fits the bowl perfectly. It doesn't rip either. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that for roughly about an hour, maybe an hour and a half today. What it needs to do is at least double in size. So just keep checking it. Good thing with the shower cap or cling film is that you can see it. With a towel, obviously, you're going to have to keep going and looking at it and basically, you know, letting air in there. But with a shower cap or cling film, you can see through and see um, uh, whether it's doubled in, size or not, doubled in size or not. So, yeah, leave it to double in size and then we'll come back and then we'll form these into the dough knots. Okay, so the dough has been resting or rising, excuse me, for about an hour and a half. So if we take the shower cap off there. So you can see, dough's doubled in size in the bowl. Okay, so if you look at the dough, you'll notice it'll be stuck to the, the bowl basically. If you're pulling it away, you should notice that it's kind of got the air bubbles inside or underneath it. You can see that there, which is good. So it shows that the dough's had, um, sorry, the yeast is activated in the dough and it's risen properly. So what you want to do now is put a, quite a good amount of flour down on the surface. And you can use a dough scraper if you have one or you can just get your fingers in and just scrape the dough out onto the well floured surface. There you go. So it should pretty much clean the bowl and you're left with the dough ball. Okay, so you've got the dough ball now. I want to just kind of, I don't know, shape it. So it's sort of, I don't know, rugby ball shape or whatever you want to call that. Call it what you want. <laughs> then with a cutter or a knife or whatever you've got, doesn't need to be exact. Um, basically, we're going to make um, 16 uh, dough knots with this one. So just cut it in half. Two pieces. Half again. And she four. Put these in half. Like I say, they don't need to be exact, but as, as half as you can get them. And those in half. Half. 
Sorry if this is boring, just someone cutting things in half. <laughs> Get through it quickly. So there you go. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 pieces there of all kind of equal-ish sizes. So just sprinkle a tiny amount of flour on them. It's just to make it easier to work with. Um, so then we're going to get all these pieces to one side. Tiny bit of flour on them. Let's move this over. Um, and what you need is um, a baking sheet or a tray. I've lined this with um, some baking sheets um, that you can buy from online or wherever or cooking stores. And I've dusted it with a little bit of the semolina, coarse semolina that we use for pizzas. Uh, you can use a little bit of flour on there if you want to, but I've just done that um, on the tray. Um, you can use tin foil, you don't even need to put that on, you can just use a bare tray if you want to. So what I'm going to do now with these is you want to push them out. You can go around the edge if you want, there's no problem. Flatten them out and then you just want to roll it like you're rolling up into a sausage shape. It will stick a little bit on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. So you can see where it's been rolled there. If you just pinch it together, push it down where that pinches and pinch it together again. And you just want to kind of stretch it out to a longer shape, push it down. Don't be really rough with it, but you can be as rough as you need to be with it. You don't want to hammer all the air out of it. So just do that. And basically we're just going to tighten a knot. So get it like this, wrap it around, pull it through. There you go. So that's a garlic knot that you've got. Um, with the end bits, what's good to do is if you tuck them underneath, so you can kind of make this knot shape like that. So this is the top of it. Push it down, give it a slight push, not a real heavy one. And then literally just transfer it onto the tray. Okay, so I'll just show you again with another one. So I'll just flatten it out. And roll it up. As you can see it sticks to the board, that's why I've got a little bit of flour on there. And you want to pinch it. Push it down, shape it into the sausage shape. There we go. And then tighten the knot. There we go. There's the knot. And then push it under. Push it down a little bit. It's just so it sticks to the bottom of it. Transfer you see tray. One last one. So just push them out. Roll it up. Pinch, I've made the fold. Your hands get sticky and you get a little bit of dough on them. Bit of flour solves it all. That's all you need to do. There we go. Flatten those out. Make a knot. Pull it through. Underneath. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with the rest of these. And I'll show you exactly what we do once we've got these all ready to have another little rest for a little bit, just to rise up a bit more. Okay, so we have made all the donuts, as you can see there. We've got 16 um, good-looking donuts there. They're not all exactly the same size. We don't want them to be. You want different sizes. Um, Uniform size ones look boring. You want odd different shape ones as well. It makes the garlic stick to it better as well. So all these little, little nooks and crannies that you can see there, once you paint on the garlic butter, um, go in there, get inside the dough, make it more delicious and tasty. And obviously, bigger surface area. Just go around, give each one a tiny little push down and a tap. That's all you need to do. Don't slam it or anything like that. Just little taps on top that's absolutely fine 
Um, then what we're going to do is going to leave these for about half an hour. So we've got a damp tea towel. Just going to place that over the top. Just want them to rise a little tiny bit. You don't want them over rising. So if we leave those for 30 minutes, then we'll come back and cook them. Um, so in about 20 minutes time, you want to put your oven on to about 200-ish, 210, something like that. Um, get the oven nice and warm before you put these in the oven. I'll show you what we do just before we pop them in. So we just put a little bit of the garlic butter on top. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so these donuts have been resting for half an hour. I've got the oven warmed up and nice and hot. That's basically running at the moment at 200 um, degrees Celsius. Um, got a fan assisted oven. So if you have a look at these donuts now, as you can see they have risen up a little bit. Not gone massive, but they've risen again. So what we've got here is the butter, the garlic, and the olive oil. A bit of salt, a little bit of pepper that we put in there, and some of the garlic puree. So all I'm gonna do with this is just brush it on the top of the donuts, mix it all up so you get a good coating of everything. So we're just gonna go around each one, give them a good coating. Don't worry about the bottom of them. Go. So like I say, you're going to have odd size ones, some of them are a little bit smaller, some of them are a little bit bigger. You want to get all in the little nooks and crannies, go all around the top of them. Okay. Like I say, we're just going to cover these all up. Okay. Perfect, so we've got all of the donuts covered now in the garlic, butter and oil mixture. So we're gonna put these at the top of the oven. Um, so it's heated at 200 degrees Celsius at the moment with fan assisted. Gonna pop them in there um, between 10 to 12 minutes. Keep checking them, check them about 10 minutes after they've gone in and just keep your eye on them. You want a bit of color on them, you don't want too much color, um, but I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when they come out. And yeah, okay, so we're going to put these in the oven now, and hopefully when they come out, they'll look fantastic. Okay, so it has been about, um, just coming up to 12 minutes now. i uh, just had a look in the oven, and the donuts look ready to come out. So let's have a quick check of them. Go, looking great. The kitchen smells fantastic. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, got a good colour on them, not too dark. If you want to test the done, I've got asbestos hands by the way, so don't really do this if you don't. <laughs> if you want to test the done, just it sounds like that. Sounds kind of hollow. That means they're cooked. Okay, a little bit of crust on top. They're still a bit soft. Fantastic. As you can see, they're all different sizes. They've cooked great. They've risen up great. You get odd little bits on them like that from the knot shape underneath. Mainly flat, but still. Got a bit of colour on there, get out the light so you can see that. Okay, fantastic. Now, you can just eat them like that. They're great like that on their own. No problem. Go ahead and eat them. They're good. Um, little trick that I do with mine, um, you can do this as just like a bit of an extra indulgence. Uh, take a big piece of tin foil, fold it in half, make like a bag out of the tin foil. So you just seal it down the sides there. Make sure it's sealed in the bottom part of it where you folded it. Pop all of the donuts inside. These are hot, by the way, so gotta be quick. <laughs> um, with the leftover garlic butter mixture that I had, so I added a little bit more butter to it, a tiny bit more oil, and then I've put um, with it some parsley, finely chopped parsley and just tasted it, a tiny bit more salt in there and um, a bit of pepper. Oh, see, bag split. I'm gonna make sure that's sealed because you don't want the stuff to run out. There we go. So, we've got our bag there. So like I say, this is the garlic. It's the same kind of stuff that we put on top of the pizza Bianca. So, 
um, garlic, butter, oil, and uh, finely chopped parsley. So that's all melted there. Just pour that in the bag, be careful with it. Make sure you don't pour it on your hand or anything. There we go. So we poured that inside there. Now what you want to do with the bag, just seal it up nice and tight, go all the way around it. Just make sure it doesn't leak out. Fold it upwards as well, like this, so it doesn't come out the bottom part of the bag. And you just want to give it a really good mixture in your hands. You can let it cool down a little bit if you don't have asbestos hands like me. <laughs> so just move it, flip it over a couple of times. Just get all the butter and everything coated all around the dough balls. Um, what I'm going to do now is just turn the oven off. So it's still very hot the oven. Um, and just again, just make sure everything's getting coated inside. So nothing's sticking there. It's all good. I'm just going to pop it back in the oven for about five minutes with the oven off. Um, just so that everything can soak into the dough balls. Stay nice and hot inside. There we go. And then everything will soak into the dough balls. And I'll take those out in about five minutes. And I'll show you exactly what they look like. And then I'm going to eat a few. Because I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so we've just taken the dough nuts back out of the oven. Like I said, the oven was off. They were in there for about five minutes. Just keeping warm. Letting everything soak into them. Just opening up the bag now, and hopefully this will look good on the camera. There you go. So that's everything covered in the garlic butter. A few of them have got a little bit more in them than the others, <laughs> but that's cool. You just move these all around. It's very hot. Try and use tongs if you can, not your fingers. Perfect. So what I do, just take them in a bowl. Serve a few up. There you go, very professional. And then just, if you don't have Parmesan, you don't have to put the Parmesan on top, but you, I think it's a bit of an extra indulgence on it. And just grate a load of fresh Parmesan on top. Which you want. There you go, garlic donuts. With Parmesan cheese on top. So we get a better look at this. Hopefully that didn't go upside down like my pizza video did. <laughs> there you go. Looking good. Okay, I'm going to go and enjoy these. Hopefully you'll make them. Let me know if you like the video. Comments and stuff. Like, share, whatever. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Thought I'd just make this just to show you another quick and simple recipe to make. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers. I just thought I'd um, end the video with tearing into one of these, so just so you can see what it's like in the middle of the dough. So, you can, oh, pull that back a little bit. So, nice and airy, steamy, looking good. So you can see the butter and the oil is soaked into the bottom of it, but it's nice and light and airy inside. Sorry, this camera's terrible. <laughs> so you can see it's doughy, lovely, delicious. Tastes fantastic. Okay, hope you make them.